Hey everyone, this is Steve from CG Geek, and welcome back to part two of our modern interior tutorial series where we will be creating the scene you see right here. we're going to be adding some more of the finer details with the staircase, maybe the television, and just some of the other hard surface windows and stuff, kind of fishing out our interior. So without further ado, let's do just that. So let's start with the, uh, the doors back here. If I go to camera view here, you'll see that there's four doors back here, kind of screen doors going out, and it's letting a lot of light in. And uh, this will be what we model, model for now. So I'm going to go ahead and tab into edit mode, grab face select mode, and let's grab that wall back there. From here, I'm going to go Control R. I'm going to put a few cuts in this wall to kind of cut out the the door frame here. So I'm dropping one in right there. I'm going to go Control R again. I'll drop it right in the top. Control R again, right at the bottom there, and then Control R again, right at the edge there. Okay. So as you can see, this kind of a frame, and then the door is attached to the frame. So to create that frame, I'm going to first just delete this face. Actually, let's let's keep that face, but I'm going to hit Y to make it a separate piece, and I'm going to scale it a little bit, like so. All right, so now I'm going to grab the edges here. I'm going to Shift D these. I'm going to scale them just slightly. I'm going to extrude them outwards to kind of make that door frame. So I'm going to hit E and then pull them out this way to kind of make that door frame. And then we're going to give them a little bit of thickness. So I'm going to hit Face Select Mode, select that edge right there. So you select all of them now, and hit Extrude, and then Scale. And we're just going to scale them down a bit to get that door frame. Now this isn't very big, so we might want to go a little bit back, but just about so. I'll scale them along the Shift Y axis, so we don't go in, but just along the, the uh, Y axis. All right, so along the Shift Y. And you can see we have our door frame there. So now we're going to use this to kind of be the doors. So if I hit 0 on my number pad and then Z to see through it, we have four individual doors here. So um, I'm going to kind of model those right out of this face here. So I'm going to go ahead and go Control R and can't really see my faces. So just like I did in the previous part, I'm going to go Control I and hit H to hide everything else. And now I can work with just this face and it's much easier to see. So I'm gonna hit P and separate by selection. So it's a separate object now. If I go up, if I hit um, option H to unhide everything, you can see if I hit Z, we have this. And if I unhide everything else, we have that. So the two separate objects now. I'm gonna option H to unhide that and then tab into edit mode. And I'm gonna take this face and I'm going to grab it and drag it in to be just a single, well actually, we're just gonna do this very this very edge on the end here. So I'm gonna grab that right there. I'm gonna make this into a little bit of a board. So I'm gonna extrude out, so we have a little bit of thickness to it. And then I'm gonna pull it in a little bit as well. So we just have kind of this narrow board. And this is the edge of our door, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it now. Shift D, pull it across to that side. And then we're going to go ahead and go Control R, drop a cut in right there. Control R, drop a cut in right there. Actually, you know what? I should do these at the same time so I can move them along with each other. So just Control R, Control R, and then grab both of them and pull them down. Very nice. And then I'm going to grab this face, extrude it, and then grab this face and hit W and bridge edge loops. So we have that. And you can actually grab this now by hitting Alt and right clicking, and then go X and delete edge loops, because you don't even need that extra edge loop anymore. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and go Control R, cut there, Control R, cut there, Control R, cut there. And I'm just clicking before I move them at all, so I can grab them both and move them at the same time then. So for that center beam there, we'll just do that and that. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing where I just go grab both those bridge edge loops. I don't even have to do that extrusion, I guess. <laughs> that was an extra step that wasn't really necessary. And then control R, escape, control R, escape, grab them both. I'm going to pull them up to the top of that door. Grab both those faces and W bridge edge loops. So we have a nice door frame there. Now to kind of add those blinds going across it, I'm going to grab a face here. I'm going to shift D it, pull it down a bit, and then rotate it along the X axis. So we kind of have something like that. If I hit period on my number pad, I can kind of zoom in here and rotate it along the X axis some more to get the right angle. Maybe scale it along the, the Y a little bit, and then rotate along the X a little bit, just so we can get a blind like so. Pull it up there. Go to camera view. That looks to be about right. I'm going to shift D, and without touching anything else, I'll go G and Z just to kind of pull it down a bit. Whoops. I don't need to hit G. I just want to delete that. I'm going to go shift D and then Z to move it down to about there. And then what you can do is go shift R, and it will just repeat that process over and over again. Whoops. Shift R. And you can see I just want these blinds all the way down to about there. And then I can grab them all with L, just hovering over and tapping L, and kind of position it in the center a little bit more. And there you have your blinds. That looks pretty nice. And uh, we can just select all of those now and duplicate them for the bottom. So just hitting L, selecting them all, Shift D, and pull them down to the bottom. And there we have it. I might be able to delete that top line. X, delete vertices. Whoops. I had something else selected there as well. Just X delete that face. Very nice. And uh, you might need to space them out a little bit different or move them up a little bit if they're too close. But this, right about there, scale along Z just a little bit to fit it in there a little better. Uh, we'll do it. So there you have your first door. And what I'm going to do now is because I have a separate object, I can go ahead and add a modifier array. And we'll just give ourselves four doors. Now they need to be slightly spaced apart. So I'm gonna give this a decimal number of about 0 .0, 0 0.015. And then I need to scale them along the X just slightly so they fit in there once they're spaced apart. Like so. How does that look? Oh, it looks pretty good. All right, and there is your doors. If you want to get a little bit more fine detailed, you could add another little trim piece down the center there. It's not really worth it to get into it, but I'll show you real quick how to do it. You're just going to shift D that face, scale it along the x-axis, scale on the x-axis, scale on the x-axis till it's a very narrow strip. Then we'll place it right there, and we'll just extrude it down like so. Let me see if I hit period. Whoops. I'll grab that right there by hitting L. Right, hit period to kind of zoom in on that. And we can see that we have our face. And I want to give it a little thickness, like so. So this is getting really, really kind of detailed and not uh, not entirely necessary. But if you like details, um, then uh, go ahead and go for it. And then you would just grab that interior edge there, Shift D, place it between the other doors. Maybe not the center one, but just these two. All right, and you could go ahead and add like little hinges and everything else, but it's uh, it's more detail than you need to for how far how far off it is. All right, now uh, there is kind of a big gap between the top and the bottom of these doors I'm noticing, so we might have to uh, move that. I feel like they got messed up a little bit in camera view, so uh, to fix that, all we have to do is grab these vertices. Let me, let me kind of hide these objects real quick by hitting that H and hiding them. Just grab all these vertices and then the ones on the end too. I'm just going to hit Alt and right click to make sure I'm selecting those edge loops. Actually, you know what? I can just hit L and select everything and then box select, unselect that bottom edge. All right. Now we can move these down. So we want just a smallish gap. Kind of step up to the doors. It looks good, and then we have to grab our doors as well, and grab them along the z-axis, and place them back in the door frame. Grab them along the z-axis a little bit more, 
and that looks pretty nice. Maybe pull them along the Y a little bit. Grab along the X, yeah, right about there. So there's our doors, and uh, that is the process for that. These might need to be recalculated. Yes, it did. And then some of these got messed up. So let me just grab those. The, uh, the faces that didn't end up facing the right direction, you'll want to grab and recalculate those as well. Just on select that with Shift L and then recalculate. Hmm. Okay, I have to select those individually, I guess. A little bit of a pain, but holding down Shift and hitting L, face select, make it easier. We can unselect everything that is the right color, and it's the black ones that are facing the wrong direction. So just unselect everything but those. Flip the direction, and there we have it. All right, and we can delete this lamp. It's been sitting here the whole time, but we don't need that. All right, so there's our nice doors, and let's move on to the windows. So the windows are a lot like the doors, and uh, we can actually possibly borrow, I think I will just copy actually the doors for the windows here to make it a little quicker, but we just have to start off by doing the window frame like we did before. So in camera view here, we're gonna kind of, you can see that our, our camera is off a little bit and that's kind of messing things up. Um, I wanna kind of position that a little bit more accurately now. So rotation is important to kind of get that lined up a little better. There we go, that's better. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go Control R when we have this selected, yes. Um, let's go ahead and grab that back wall by hitting L Control I and H to hide everything else. And now I can go Control R and drop the edges in for those windows. One in the bottom and one in the top. All right. So now with that done, grab face select mode, grab the faces that will be the window. And that looks right. We can go ahead and X, delete these, whoops, faces, not the edges. All right, and now we'll just grab these and extrude a little bit of a window frame into the wall. Perfect. All right, now let's grab our doors here. I'm gonna duplicate them by hitting Shift D, and turn the count down, and we'll grab these along the X axis over to here. Hit period to kind of zoom in on them. We're gonna to need to scale these along the X. Tab into edit mode and make it a little easier. Right about so and then we're gonna delete the bottom half of these doors. So just doing that, hitting X, deleting the vertices. And these, this little extra guy here, delete those. And then we're gonna to have to face off the bottom. So just grab those four vertices, those four vertices, hitting F, and those four vertices, hitting F. Perfect. So now we can grab everything, place it up here, scale along the Z, to kind of fit it right in our window frame. Now these might be a little skinnier as well, um, so I'm going to grab just the frame, not the, the blinds, and scale them along the y-axis a little bit. Okay, and then there's another set of windows just like those over here, so we can go ahead and add those in now as well. Just by doing the same process, it'll be really easy now that we already have some of the cuts here and stuff. Just control R, let me hit Z so I can kind of see that right around there, and then if I actually duplicate the windows here first, so just tab, or not tab, but shift D, hit Z to go back into wireframe, and grab them along the x-axis. We'll know exactly how far to put our next cut, which is almost all the way to the edge here, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and put another cut right along the edge there for those. And that looks pretty nice. We can, uh, we can grab this edges, just like before, and we'll extrude them. Whoops, we don't want we don't want these top and bottom vertices. We'll go ahead and pull them back. Like so. And then X delete faces. Whoops, I actually messed that up there by adding those duplicate faces. Just don't want those. Don't want those. Extrude. Pull back. X and delete the faces. So we have kind of that that window frame there. And these can be adjusted now. To how you like them, but that looks pretty nice. So that is the windows and doors. Let's position that in a little bit more. Grab along the X, it's a little bit of a gap there. Fill it in, and that looks pretty good. 
that's the windows and doors um, and we can go ahead and move on to the next step which will be well let's go ahead and do that staircase because that's kind of a central part to the scene so the staircase definitely adds a little bit of an element a tricky element because of how it is um, there's just, just some corners and stuff that can be a little bit tricky at first but it's uh it's ultimately not that difficult so let's go ahead and start with a face so we need to just go shift s cursor to center and shift a add in a mesh plane we'll scale that down a little bit Hit g and shift z to kind of put it in roughly the right position there and then we're going to hit period and our number pad to kind of zoom in here scale it along with y something like that and that's looking about right if we go into camera view to check the scale we can see it's pretty close and that will work for us so now i'm going to tab into edit mode extrude it upwards right about there and then i'm going to grab these faces pull them all the way up to about there pull these down just so we're matching the angle of the stairs here and then i'm going to grab these and extrude them and grab them to line them up right in line at the top there perfect so now if you look at it you have that nice sort of staircase edge going all the way up there this might be a little higher so you can double tap G kind of slide it back a little bit pull it down just slightly and that uh, that will do so what I'm going to be doing for these is I'm going to use um, I think a ray modifier would speed this up. So, or actually maybe a mirror modifier. Yeah, let's do a mirror modifier. I'm just going to pull this over to the side here. And then I can pull it back in line with the camera until it's, it looks actually perfect. And then add a modifier. So the reason I did that is I pulled it off of the origin point here. Because the mirror modifier is going to mirror it to the origin point. So I'm going to go ahead and add a mirror modifier now. I'm going to change it to be along the Y axis. Turn off X. And you can see we have both sides of our staircase there. Now, actually, I do want this pulled back the way I had it because I modeled the closer one to the camera. So grabbing along the Y and just panning it back like so. Now you can see that this isn't always going to line up exactly with the camera. Um, and that's probably due to the focal length being off a little bit and whatnot. But at this point, we could actually try and make it a little bit more accurate with the focal length and just by kind of repositioning the rotations here a little bit to land up a little bit closer it's never going to be perfect but we can just kind of get it closest a little bit more focal length so we can kind of pull the camera in a little closer and then rotate that way just a little bit and then grab the camera and we got it a little closer. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be. Um, at some point in time, you kind of need to just start start going without the background image and just using it as a reference, but not a complete guide. And that's what I'll do at this point. So now we need some stairs. So um, to do that, let's go ahead and grab a face. We can just grab this face right here. Shift D it. Pull it up. Rotate 90 along the X. And then we'll pull it inwards a bit, right to the edge, and then extrude it until it meets. Now on our mirror modifier, we'll want to tell it to clip, so we can pull that, and then it'll just match right at the middle there. And then for the distance between our stairs, this step will pretty much start right about at the top here, and be inset just a little bit. And then we can kind of pull that a little wider, a little wider step. All right, and then there's five steps, counting the top step. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that then with L, right here, L. Oh, got mail notifications, sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and recalculate the normals on that. Because we duplicated it, need to be recalculated. And then what I'm going to do is just like I did when we were doing the blinds for the stairs. And um, actually, let's first make these a little bit bigger because they're a little bit, a little bit shrimpy in size. That looks to be pretty close to what I want. Let me see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to hit L, grab that face, and I'm going to hold my cursor along that line, Shift D, and then kind of follow it along the edges right to about that point there. So this face is kind of in line with that one, and I'm on the line here. And then I'm going to go Shift R two more times to put two more steps 
in there. And if I went one more, you can see we're right about at the top there, where I want that top step to be. So that will be good. I have my uh, my steps kind of working out there. I've hit five to go into orthographic view. Um, I think I need to scale them apart a little bit more, like so, and then move the whole thing in a little bit. Okay, and that's looking, if I go to camera view, it's looking close-ish to our reference image there, just a little closer, but that's good for now. And now we can use this to do the second fleet of stairs. So we're gonna just kind of cheat here and shift D, duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees along the Z axis, pull it up and pull it over to right about there, pull it up some more and pull it out like so. Okay, and then we're gonna pull it down right about there. All right, and the reason I'm doing that is because I need to pull this bottom face to a point there. So do that. I'm just going to grab this. I need to grab this edge loop here. Let me see. Yeah, this edge loop here actually needs to come down until we have it lined up. So just pull it down. And now this is where it gets a little tricky to tell if you're going, getting your angles right or not. But um, you can kind of eyeball it, and it will be pretty accurate. Something like that. And if you're really picky, you can um, just delete this and start with here and kind of move your steps then. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that because that looks pretty good to me. And then these are going to be raised up a bit higher right about there. Okay. So now... I'm going to have to add another little bar connecting that. That's kind of how it is in real life. <laughs> in real life, that's how it is. And um, I'm going to add that second floor here now, though. So let's do that. So I can go ahead and apply the mirror modifier on one of these. I'll do it at the bottom one. And I'm going to grab this face here. And this just kind of is going to be duplicated. Um, Maybe not duplicated. Maybe we'll just extrude it out as far as we need it in front view to line up with this fleet of stairs. Okay. And then it is kind of a corner uh, triangular step in there. So I'm imagining, I can't really tell from the reference image, but I'm imagining that this comes across. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, right up to the edge. We'll grab that face. And I'm going to go ahead and shift duplicate it. So it's a separate part. And I'll extrude that out until it's touching right about there. Okay. And now we need that corner step in there. And we should be good to go. So for that corner step, I'm just going to go ahead and grab our step here. Go into side view. And we're going to go ahead and shift D it up to being right around there. And then we need to make it a triangular step. So this is where it gets fun. We're going to go ahead and grab these faces here and pull it out. And it's going to kind of be a triangular step this way, actually. I can't really tell, but I feel like this way is, and then the next step. It's tricky looking at my reference images. I should, I should really look at my finished project file so I know exactly. But um, it's kind of a triangular step and then another triangular step, I believe. Okay, I just took a quick peek at my finished file to make sure I was on the right track, and I was right. I did do two triangular steps here. So the way it is, actually, is I need to separate this. This uh, face comes up higher, and there's kind of another step at that level. All right, so this has to be kind of in line with that. All right, and this is going to be a half step here. So I'm going to go to top view, and uh, let's go ahead and delete that middle vertice line there. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and grab both those and hit X, delete edge loops. Whoops. I guess that's not really an edge loop, it's a face. So I'm going to X, delete faces, and then it's an edge loop. So I can select it and X, delete edge loop. Cool, because we really only need a square for this. As we're going to take this edge and pull it all the way into that point there. And we have our first triangular step there. And then this needs to be... This needs to be moved around a little bit to fit in here. We're just doing some some craftsman and blah, craftsmanship, woodsman's. Uh, what what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> some 
fine-tune craftsmanship in Blender. Um, and then we'll grab this step. So we're just going to duplicate that one. We'll pull it up a bit. And now I'm in top view. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Rotate 180. Perfect. We'll pop it right in there. And then we need to raise it to be the approximate distance of a step, which is around here. Now, as you can see, right, we have that one, that one, and that one. They all have to be about the same distance apart, obviously, because you don't want to be stepping on something that's not there. I'm going to hit 5 so I can see that a little better. And this one can be... Let me grab that face, pull it outwards a little bit more. Cool. Um, now, this is... Let me pull that way a little bit. Now, we can see that we need to move these stairs a little bit to match that one. And this is also a bit higher than it needs to be. So we can pull that down right around for that step there. All right, so that's kind of working out nicely. Grab this face and pull it in. Actually, all these faces are pulled away a little bit. How'd that happen? Hmm. Somehow, let me see. I didn't change the rotation, did I? Check. Oh, I did. Somehow that got rotated. They both got rotated a little bit. Go figure. All right, so <laughs> I can I can fix that real quick. I just need to grab the faces on one side. Let me hit Z here. Grab all the faces on one side. Right there. Okay, scale along the Y axis to zero. And then all the faces on the other side. You um you probably don't have this problem because you probably didn't do whatever I did. But if you did, this is how you fix it. Just grabbing ah that face too. Yes. Is there another edge there? There is. Okay. But there doesn't have to be. So I'm just gonna leave it. And scale along the X to zero. Whoops, scale on the Y to zero. Perfect. Now yeah, I, I have some extra faces on the end here. Boom. Then I'm just going to delete X, and we'll just delete the vertices, actually. Perfect. Now we need to cap that off if we wanted to be clean. So I'll grab those four faces and hit F to fix that. So yeah, I don't know how I messed up the rotation on that, but uh, it's all squared up now. Then I can just pull that in a little bit to fit the stairs. And is this one messed up too? It is. Hmm. At some point in time, I rotated it. Didn't mean to. No biggie. I'm just grabbing those those two, scale along the Y to zero, and then these two on that side. Scale on the Y to zero. Alright. And then we can grab that and pull it in. Like so. Alright, so this let me see here. Top view. Is that one straight? What? This one's not straight either. Alright, I'm just gonna delete this fleet of stairs then. And we'll duplicate the ones that I just fixed. So grab those. Not that. And go Shift D. Rotate 90 along the Z. And we can pull these up. And over. And actually, because the angle is right on the bottom here, I'm going to grab these and rotate them 180 degrees. So they're actually going to be upside down, technically, to what we did before which will mean they'll be correct for what I'm doing here. If that makes sense. You guys might be like, what? Totally lost right now. I apologize if you are. <laughs> I'm just rotating it upside down and we're using them the opposite ways. So the angles are already set up here like we want. Okay, and now all we need to do is separate the stairs out a little further. So I'm grabbing those, hitting five and going into side view here. And then I'm gonna move them approximately. I'm going to do the same trick where I follow along the line here to keep them estimately the right distance. And um, yeah, just kind of eyeballing them with the other stairs to make sure they're about the same distance apart. That looks to be pretty good. I can grab these two faces up here on both sides. Yes. Stay in side view. And can continue those up a bit too using the same method by grabbing. And let me see here. Grab that face too. Yes, grabbing and following it along the vertice. All right, 
So just a little bit further. Like so. And we can duplicate one more step along the way. Shift D. One more step. If I pull back here, it would be a little easy to land up. About right there. All right, so we have our stairs kind of coming up to our left. And if you go camera view, you can see that looks pretty decent. And there's just a few little things that need to be kind of fixed now. Um, these are going to be attached by kind of a little bar. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Just shift D that face, pull it out, pull it back, extrude it across a little bit. And then grab that face right there and pull it up. That is how that is going to look. All right, that looks pretty nice then. And there's kind of a railing, actually. We can go ahead and do the railing while we're at it. So I'm just going to hit L on that, and we'll duplicate it. Pull it up, like so, and pull it over, like so. And then grab that up a little bit more, and hit 5 on my number pad to kind of get into, into the house a little bit more, see what's going on. Maybe make it a little bit wider. Pull it up a little bit more. All right, that looks about a good height for a railing, I would say. And then we're going to grab that top face, extrude it up a little bit higher, and then hit 5 and extrude it, keeping it the same distance from the railing the whole time. So I'm going to extrude it and hit G and just pull it up with the, uh, the railing there. Cool. Same thing, I could duplicate these up to the top. Not, not you guys, just the railing. So, Shift-D, oops, I want Shift-F, I don't want to do that. Shift-D, and pull it up to be about the top right there. All right, and that's all we really need. It kind of goes out of the frame, you don't really see it. And uh, this could be duplicated, this kind of a, a, um, a bar against the wall back here, you could say. So I'm going to grab this, Shift-D. It's, I guess you would say that because it is a bar against the wall. <laughs> All right. And that just kind of goes up. And it actually attaches to this beam. So I think this beam, at this point, we can still move it if we wanted. Just move this whole beam in a little bit more. So it's up against our staircase. The way we want it to be. All right. And that is that so that is our basic staircase and windows um we have like the television here and stuff but i think i'll keep that for the most part for the next part where we get in a little bit more details um i can go ahead and add the beam that's kind of holding that up so i'm gonna go ahead and tab into edit mode shift a and add in a circle we can scale this down we'll leave it at 32 vertices there scale it down extrude it up this goes up to about the third step in height here. Whoops, I need to add a face first. So hit F to add a face, and then extrude it up. This goes up to about this step here. And let's go all the way up to this step here. Hit L to select it. Scale it along the shift set a bit, and then we'll pull it over. Now we can see that it needs to come forward a little bit. And then I'm going to drop it down to this step, actually looks to be about more the appropriate scale and for something like this that's circular you want to hit L and then hit smooth the faces on it okay and this can kind of come over where we want it to be if I hit Z you can see the one in the background there and just line it up approximately with that and that looks pretty nice now we can duplicate a face over here I'm just gonna get shift D grab it on the shift Z pull it over there scale it along the Y axis a bit so we have kind of a platform, scale on the x-axis, and this is just kind of the, uh, the, what do you call it, the whatever is attaching to the floor into the beam, it's connecting the two of them. So we'll extrude it up a bit, and we have kind of that connecting platform there. So that looks pretty nice, and we're going to add the television, like I said, in the next part where we do more details, but uh, you can see that our scene is coming together pretty nicely. Um, I'm liking the way it's looking. There's, there's little things that could be tweaked as much as you want, but I don't want to do too much of that on camera because I know it gets boring to watch. You guys just kind of want to see more of the exciting stuff. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it. I think we're running about time on part two here. 
So I think I'll call it there, and I'll see you guys in part three.